In this video, we're gonna be talking about Keith Mitchell's win at the Honda Classic, some botched headlines, some wrong names, and what's in his bag. Let's go butts around. Hit the ball! Hey guys, David Folk here on this channel. We do instructional videos and golf gear videos, just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Well, I'm off to pick up my son. He is supposedly sick at school and I need to go pick him up because apparently he's complaining to the teacher and the nurse says that he, uh, he apparently he needs to be picked up. So uh, we're driving again and we're gonna be talking about Keith Mitchell's what's in his bag. And uh, what's interesting, if you guys watched it this weekend, especially on Sunday, he was not on the top of the leaderboard as broadcast began, but ended up victorious. Uh, and he is a monster off the tee. I mean, he just, just crushes that thing. The best part about the week, and, and, I, and he's done really well to take it kind of half-hearted and light, um, is number one, called him Kevin Mitchell, um, which obviously is not his name. And there's a couple of tweets that he posted, which I'll post up here for you guys to see, um, that he's like, as long as you write my name right on the trophy, which is what I would have said. And the other thing is the Palm Beach Post, which posted uh, basically the headline being the no-name champion, which I'm like, uh, that's just cruel and unusual for for that. So it's a couple of things that uh, he's not getting necessarily the love he deserves for being victorious at the Honda Classic, but uh, he seems to be taking it pretty well in stride, and I'm, I'm pretty impressed with, with how well he's doing uh, being in the limelight with uh, struggling with his name and who he is and all that kind of stuff. So let's talk about what is in his bag and it's definitely a mixed bag. So let's get into it. Starting with his driver. He's playing the Mizuno ST190 driver. This is going to be at nine and a half degrees and he's going to be playing the Project X Hazardous T1100 7.5 which is like super duper extra stiff and it's going to be tipped at one inch, which makes it even more stiff. So we're talking about a man who obviously pounds the ball, hits it a long way, and his driver is super, super stiff. I mean, like, stiff. The T1100 is also, I believe, counterbalanced to make sure that uh, it's, not, it's not feeling as heavy. I mean, with a 7.5 stiffness and tipped one inch, it could definitely get a little boardy. Um, but apparently his swing speed is is pretty pretty off the charts. So uh, it's 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 no wonder why he's using this. The ST190 I've heard is a great driver. I haven't been able to uh, really test it out all that much or even post a review on it. Hopefully that's going to be coming soon once the weather gets a little nicer here in Boise, Idaho. Um, and, and see how well that works. But I've heard really really good things about it and and. and it's gonna be it's gonna be great moving on to his three wood he's going to be playing the Titleist 917 f2 16 and a half degrees and this is going to have a mitsubishi tensi ck pro blue 90 gram shaft which again is heavier than some of the game improvement shafts that are out there for tailor-made and uh cobra and uh Callaway. So, I mean, this is a heavy shaft, and like we talked about, it's going to be a mixed bag. So, whatever feels right and whatever gets him the most uh, consistent numbers that he wants and he's looking for, this is going to be it. Uh, the CK Blue is a solid shaft. The 917 F2 is also going to be a great fairway wood, um, but it seems to be obviously working for him. And at 16 and a half degrees, I'm a little surprised. Uh, just because of how, how long he is, but, uh, but you know, it's, it's all about the numbers and all about the distance and gapping that you're looking for. So, uh, it's, it seems to be working for him to make sure that he gets that, what essentially is a four wood, uh, dialed into his numbers. His other fairway wood is going to be a Titleist TS2 21 degrees. This is going to have a Mitsubishi Tinsi CK Blue 90 gram shaft as well. I'm surprised that he's having two fairway woods, especially considering all the, uh, the talk that's around him and distance. Uh, that's like a six wood. So it's, it's just surprising that he's chosen to go with that versus a utility or maybe even a uh, driving iron or utility iron that, that other people have gone with. But again, 
seems to be working for him. He's uh, victorious out there in the Honda Classic. So uh, let's jump on to his irons. His irons are going to be the Mizuno MP18 4 through pitching wedge. This is going to have the True Temper Dynamical Tour Issue X100 SST Pured. And what that means is they've taken the shafts and they've spun them around to try and find the, the spine of the shaft. You, if you talk to really shaft geeks and shaft nerds, uh, they're going to be big into uh, making sure you have spined shafts because uh, any, any wobble or kick point or uh, shaft flex can be thrown off by where the shaft spine is. So if the shaft spine is not in the same place for every club, which is generally going to be in the back of the club. It's kind of where most people like it. It's going to be um, a potential for a pure swing or correct swing, but it's going to end up not as good as it could have been because the shaft spine was not set in the same place for all the irons. I look forward to hearing your comments down below if you guys are shaft geeks and shaft nerds. Um, post those down below. Let me know what you think about having the SST Pured. Um, and if you've seen the impact, if you guys have that or not, that's, it's going to be, I think it's going to be an interesting conversation to have, especially for a guy who basically has a mixed bag and does kind of whatever he feels like doing. So I look forward to hearing those comments down below. And speaking about the, uh, MP18s again, great irons. So I've been told because they don't make them in actual left-handed. So on Mizuno. How good are they compared to, let's say, like the MP32s? I'm not wowed. I'm, I, I've, I've, I'd rather have the MP32s, which, by the way, I have a set of those because I did make those left-handed, praise the Lord. And those are the softest irons I have ever hit. Speaking of which, that was actually played on the PGA Tour. I'm going to post this uh, Instagram up here. Boop. And you guys can see that it was played by a PGA Tour pro. It used to be Luke Donald's old set that had a specific grind and a specific look to it. Um, and it was the last set that he used to play with the MP32s. And uh, just just amazing. They're just amazing clubs. Like, they should go back to making those types of clubs because just fantastic. Let's get on to his wedges. Kevin's wedges is going to be a Vokey. SM7, he's going to be playing a 50, a 54, and a 59. And those are going to come with the Tour Issue S400 shafts. And again, the Vokies are a solid wedge. And for his putter, he's going to be jumping to the TaylorMade Spider putter. And it's going to be the Spider Tour X. Um, I believe I heard that it's going to be 35 inches, but I'm not exactly sure on that one. So if you know, post that down below. Uh, to let me know. And finally, for his golf ball, he's going to be playing the Titleist Pro V1s. Huge mixed bag for Keith Mitchell and his win at the Honda Classic. And I think that uh, he's going to carry that momentum hopefully forward um, from being the no-name champion or Kevin Mitchell. Uh, I think it's going to be it's going to be an interesting start to his professional career. Um, with these kind of comments that have been made about him. So I look forward to, to watching him and his, his uh, career evolve and, and just seeing how the media handles and manages him moving forward and how he manages and handles the media moving forward. I think it'll, I think it'll be fun. Um, he seems to be uh, taking it in his stride. So uh, I, I hope you have kind of that little banter back and forth. I think that'd be really up in his... Uh, brand name and brand recognition but we'll see so guys look forward to hearing those comments down below what do you guys think of his bag his bag looks uh looked a little bit more like what my bag used to look like i used to carry a tailor-made sldr driver uh, an r7 5 wood the 731 pms from uh, titleist the phil mickelson irons and then had cleveland wedges and had a Scotty Cameron putter, you know, so I just kind of mishmashed it, piled it all together, whatever felt good. So playing a little bit different set nowadays, but look forward to hearing those comments down below. What do you think of his stuff versus what do you think of uh, keeping it all in the same brand family? Post those down below. And of course, guys, while you're down there, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up because YouTube likes that. Thanks for watching, and we'll chat with you next time.